Hi, I'm Hannah from Square Kicker, a design and animation extension for Squarespace websites. In this video, we'll go over how to convert your Squarespace 7.1 website to Fluid Engine and go over the main differences between Squarespace's classic editor and Fluid Engine sections. Squarespace 7.1 has multiple section types, which you can use to build your websites. Most are the Fluid Engine sections, except for a few such as List or Gallery. If you have an existing website on 7.1, you may have some sections using the classic editor, even with the Fluid Engine enabled on your site. An easy way to tell the difference between the classic editor and Fluid Engine is the Add Block button in the top left corner when Edit Mode is enabled. If you see this button, this section is using Fluid Engine. If you see an Upgrade button instead, this means the section is using the classic editor. You can upgrade any section that is using the classic editor to a Fluid Engine section. To convert a section from classic to fluid, click the Upgrade button. This section will immediately be converted to fluid. If you are using Square Kicker or any other custom code, your section may look different on fluid as your custom code is written for a section using Classic Editor. If you had Square Kicker custom changes, these will be removed and you will see a message from Square Kicker. You'll also get access to an upgraded list of new and improved Square Kicker tools that are only available on Fluid Engine. If you convert your section and decide that you want to change back to the Classic Editor, this upgrade can be reverted by clicking the Squarespace Undo button or clicking Disregard Changes. Any Square Kicker or custom changes you had will return as they were before. If you click Save, this will permanently commit the section upgrade. It is important to note that there is no way to revert this upgrade once the section has been saved. If you duplicate a Classic Editor section, this will not convert the section to Fluid, and a duplicate Classic Editor section will appear. If you duplicate a page with Classic Editor sections, these sections on this duplicate page will stay as Classic Editor sections, even if there are Fluid Engine sections on the page. There are a few main differences to highlight between Fluid Engine and Classic Editor sections. Blocks in a Classic Editor are stacked within 12 defined columns, whereas Fluid Engine blocks are freely placed within the grid. The grid is 24 boxes wide, and the height of the grid in a Fluid Engine section is defined by the number of rows or section fill height. The grid gap is the area between the grid rows and the column defining how close the blocks are placed from each other. Adding a block is different on Fluid and Classic. Blocks on Classic are added using insert points found throughout the section. When a block is added, it can cause an unexpected change to the size of the other blocks around the new block on the same row. However, a block on Fluid can be added by clicking the Add Block button, which places a new block to the left side of the section and will not affect the position or size of the other blocks on the section. When moving blocks in a classic editor, blocks can be dragged to the other areas of a section and placed above, below, or to the side of another block within the section's columns and rows. On Fluid Engine, moving blocks is much more intuitive as blocks can be dragged around a section and placed anywhere on the grid. A block can also be brought right to the edge of the section or even placed overlapping other blocks. Resizing a block on classic section can be done by changing the size of a column, which can sometimes unexpectedly change the size of the other blocks at the same time. To resize a block on fluid, simply drag the edges of a block to your desired size. You can see the blocks around are unaffected by changing the size of this block. There are a few changes to available blocks in Fluid Engine that are not the same in Classic. First, because you can resize blocks without resizing columns, there are no spacer blocks. Image blocks are also simplified with only a single image. There are no longer image block subtypes, such as card, poster, or an overlap design containing text and buttons. Image and button blocks now show a design option to fit or fill. When these blocks are set to fit, an alignment option is also presented. Text blocks also have a vertical alignment option. Mobile screen sizes on Classic and Fluid have very different approaches to responsive design. Blocks in a Classic section are automatically stacked in the order they are positioned in the section's columns and rows. There is no way to change these blocks for mobile screens on Classic Editor without the use of custom code. Unique to Fluid is the ability to resize and position blocks specifically for mobile, leaving you with the control to reorder your blocks on mobile, which is often a website's most commonly viewed screen size. By default, blocks are automatically stacked in the order they were created and can be resized or repositioned by clicking and dragging these blocks around the grid. To quickly rearrange blocks, 
click on a block and then click the move down or up buttons, which will swap a block's position with the block above or below. For a detailed look at Fluid Engine, check out our video on a complete overview of Squarespace's Fluid Engine. We look forward to the control Fluid Engine gives designers. And if you want to take your site even further, head to squarekicker.com to check out the power of Fluid combined with Squarekicker.